we start with a video full of recommendations. After the merger of Disney Plus and Star Plus for Latin America and Hulu for North America, we present you a complete list of anime titles that you can watch on the mouse platform. These are the 10 amazing anime you can watch on Disney Plus. Let's start! We begin this video of recommendations with the anime adaptation of Undead Unlock. It is a series for shonen lovers with a little bit of gore, where we can appreciate humans with extraordinary skills. This series is introducing Andy, a guy that can die because of his skill. Desperately seeking to end his own existence coincides with Fuko Izumo, a boy capable of giving bad luck to anyone that is near to him. That is a good reason for Andy to die once and for all. The only word that may describe precisely what Undead Unlock is fun, and if you look carefully at the signs, it is not only fun without sense. Honestly, it was impossible to take my eyes off from the screen for even a second during the first episode, and that should be enough to express how good the start was, this anime continues improving episode after episode. You will find the anime in its original language and with its respective dubs in its first complete season. The Ashura's World arrives to Disney+. Plus. It's an anime where warriors fight each other and face external threats to prove who is the best and to obtain the glory. In a huge world of fantasy, the characters face some political conflicts while looking for people's respect. The episodes present graphic conflicts with bloody images and spectacular graphics. The world's Demon King dies, shocking everyone. However, the hero responsible for the fall of the Demon King remains unknown, so a tournament is being held to determine which superhuman warrior is the great hero. And this is practically what the series is about. If you are looking for something similar to Record of Ragnarok, this is an excellent option that you can appreciate on the platform in the original language and with its respective subtitles. The Power Rangers take over Disney screens once again, but this time in Japanese animation format with the series Go Go Loser Rangers, an anime that narrates the life of a villain patrolman named D, who is imprisoned along with his companions after arriving from another planet by these Power Rangers, who force them to battle and fake their deaths over and over again without rest with the sole purpose of exploiting them and keep working as rangers in the eyes of society. D, tired of so much humiliation, ends up sneaking into the human ranks and decides to become a ranger in order to destroy them from the inside. The series is dark, it has good animation and presents the typical confrontations, but with a bigger budget and more credibility in terms of animation. The series can be found in full subtitles on the platform. We continue with the featured anime, and we do it with one in particular that reminds us a little bit of Satoshi Kon and Odyssey to Space, an anime focused on a space trip to a deserted planet. The story narrates the life of Romy and her partner, George, who flee a devastated Earth in search of a new world for just the two of them and arrive on the planet Eden 17. However, it is an uninhabitable planet for humans with no chance of returning home. Everything takes a turn for the worse for the group of explorers, and Romy ends up living a lonely life of survival with her only son Kane and an artificial intelligence robot. The anime has an impeccable visual section. There are only four episodes in OVA format that tell this story, full of drama and moments of anguish. If you love science fiction with dramatic touches, this anime is one of the best you can find. The year is 2222, years after a phenomenon known as the Tears of the New Moon wiped out almost all of humanity and gave rise to deformed creatures. The survivors took refuge in the subway city of Amasha. There, in their struggle to survive, they encounter an artificial intelligence called Magus. Not knowing how they will coexist, the story of how humans and AI seek their own truths in this dystopian world full of chaos begins. The anime not only gives you a mature look into the future of artificial intelligences, but also how they may seek to coexist with humans. It is a combination of different genres, and you can watch it in the original language with subtitles. 
we move on to a work that is one of my favorites, based on the Star Wars universe. This work has two seasons, but the first one is the one I am going to highlight the most, since it is made by several Japanese animation studios with their respective styles. From CGI to traditional animation and drawing styles that characterize these studios, it is an anthology of short films based on stories on various planets ruled by the light and the dark side of the Force, placing diverse scenarios that will thrill you, make you laugh or cry. The animation is immaculate, and if you are a Star Wars lover, this anthology series will make you jump with excitement as it is well constructed and each story is self-concluding. Star Wars Vision, you can find it in original language and with their respective dubbing. Oh, and there is a short film of Little Baby Yoda, as we all call him, made by the Ghibli studio of about 10 minutes long, also within the platform. We continue with the work of Tit Kubo Bleach. Now, the whole series became exclusive to Disney two years ago and is where you can appreciate the anime of Thousand Year Blood War, which is the last season that is divided into four blocks. So far, only two blocks of the anime of 13 episodes each have been issued and you can appreciate it equally in original language and with their respective dubbing on the platform with a completely renewed animation by the Piero Studio. So if you had not had the opportunity to enjoy Bleach, because you only had Disney+, Plus, this is your great opportunity to enjoy the series with the best quality and fully dubbed. One of my favorite anime of 2022 is undoubtedly the Tengoku Daimakyo series, also known as Heavenly Delusion or as many of us call it, The Last of Us in the anime version. It is an anime that has it all, apocalypse by a deadly virus. You have the mission to take a mission to a faraway place that apparently is paradise for everyone and you must face humans in search of food and safety and strange creatures that mutated from the social collapse in the world. Yes, this sounds very much like The Last of Us without a doubt. The series has diverse facets and with one of the best animations in recent years. With an impeccable soundtrack and characters that will allow you to connect with their mysteries and emotions, you can enjoy the series in its first and only season to date, both in the original language and with their respective dubbing. Summertime Rendering, also known as The Island of Shadows, is the anime that will leave your head shattered, a series that touches on psychological thrillers, mystery, suspense, science fiction and to this we add time travel, all in one place. Shinbei is a young man who decides to return to the island where he was raised after the death of one of his childhood friends. On the way, he realizes that he now suffers from heterochromia in one of his eyes and begins to have strange sensations. Once he arrives on the island, he learns that his friend died in a mysterious way, so he decides to investigate what really happened to her. In her search process, she begins to have lucid dreams or deja vu of spaces and situations that she supposedly had already witnessed and lived before. Now she must deal with her head and perception of reality, along with the search for answers to her friend's death and the mysterious urban legend of shadows appearing on the island. A series that will take you to the next narrative level with unique characters and a plot that will keep you hooked from the first episode to the end. The anime is available in the original language and with its respective dubbing. The Code Geass anime captured our hearts in 2007 and 2008 with two consecutive seasons, delivering 50 incredible, explosive episodes with unpredictable plot twists. For two years, it won the title of Anime of the Year. After all this time and following the release of its movies that reimagine the story and take it in a different direction, Code Geass is back with a brand new story and an entirely new project that appears to connect with the rest of the franchise's adaptations. Code Geass, Rose of the Recapture, is the title of this new adaptation. It originates from a trilogy of movies that has been transformed into a 12-episode animated series covering the three films. The anime is impeccable, retaining the same essence as the originals. Character design is once again handled by Clamp, so if you love mechas, characters with special abilities, and add to that unconventional plot, twists, and war conflicts, Code Guess. Rose of the Recapture is undoubtedly an adaptation you cannot miss as a fan of the franchise. 
we conclude the best anime that you can watch on Disney Plus after the merger with Hulu and Star Plus and we do it with the anime The Fable. The anime is a kind of comedy that mixes action, drama and suspense. It narrates the life of Fable who is an assassin feared even in the underworld. He can kill anyone in 6 seconds with even the least dangerous object at hand. Fable's boss orders him to live like a normal man for a year. If he kills anyone during that time, he too will die. Therefore, the protagonist is subjected to absurd situations where he must restrain himself to kill someone. The series is about this, putting Fable in moments and situations that force him to kill, but where his determination and his decision not to do so will make him try to solve the situations in different ways. And so we come to the end of this video of the best anime to enjoy on the Disney Plus platform. Let me know which one is your favorite or which one you decide to start watching after watching the video. If you like these recommendations, leave me a like and a comment on the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you receive a notice every time we upload a new video to the channel. Greetings to the Patreoners of the channel that you can see right now on the screen. Here are some other videos that may interest you. See you in an upcoming video.